Hi, everybody. My name is Adi Sasai, and I'm one of the co-founders of ISO Black, a mobile app designed to help you find and support Black-owned businesses in Minnesota, and the only platform where you can find events specifically celebrating Black culture. Now, as a Minnesota resident, I have seen firsthand the difficulty in finding Black-owned businesses and the lack of events that really cater to Black Minnesotans such as myself. In the time at, that I had as a student at the University of Minnesota and as a professional, I have seen and witnessed a lot of Black talent come to Minnesota and go. And Greater MSV actually released a survey that found that one of the main reasons why Black professionals leave is because they were dissatisfied with the quantity of cultural relevant events and that they find it difficult to connect with others that share similar backgrounds. So it's because of these challenges that I'm absolutely excited to have an opportunity today to show you a solution that is both near and dear to my heart and one that will dramatically change how we find, promote Black-owned businesses and how we can really increase the visibility of events that celebrates Black. Now, to illustrate the impact of ISO Black, let's imagine that I'm using the mobile app from the perspective of Jessica. Now, Jess is born and raised in Brooklyn Park, Minnesota, and as she interacts with ISO Black, the first thing that she loves is the fact that she has access to this anytime, anywhere on the go. Now, as you can see here, I've just had the ability to browse through different categories at the top of the page. So let's just say in this case, maybe she wants to get a haircut. So as she goes to the, the beauty category, it lists all the different salons that are near her. Now, Jess is also actually pretty hungry and she's looking to see restaurants that are all black owned. And as she comes in here and sees a list of all of the black owned restaurants, let's just say that Soul Bowl really catches her eye. So as she comes in here, notice how it's an intuitive and engaging experience for her to be able to find the right restaurant. And as she reads a little bit about I, um, ISO Black and, and more specifically Soul Bowl here, and as she's browsing through the photos, she's really getting excited about the food, right? And as she's getting, to, you know, getting ready to actually come and order, one of the first things that she notices is that Soul Bowl isn't just a restaurant. They actually give back to the community. And as she looks through these different action buttons, it's letting her know that they actually have their own Venmo account in which you can actually sponsor food or sponsor a meal for a family. So she feels inspired and compelled to give back. So she's gonna go ahead and give $10 um, and really sponsor that meal. And as she comes back to these action buttons, keep in mind that these are completely configurable because we know that for another restaurant, it might be Bite Squad, for another organization, it might link them to um, other services that they may provide as well. So because we have the ability to leverage API, or we have the ability to connect to other platforms, making it easy for users like Jessica to not only see information, but giving them the ability to take action as well. So let's fast forward and say she got her food, she gave back, she's feeling pretty great about both. And because she loved Sobol, notice how she even has the ability to save it and actually share it with her friends. So she can easily come back and have access to Sobol at any time. So now that we've seen how Jess was successfully able to find that restaurant that allowed her to give back and also get some delicious food, let's switch gears a little bit and talk about Morris. Now Morris is somebody who's a little bit different than Jessica from the perspective of he's actually not from Minnesota. He is from Chicago, so he just moved here for work and he's looking forward to really finding different events that will allow him to connect with others as well as be able to network. So as he goes into this event component, this allows him to have that one-stop shop for events that are happening today, this week, next week, and moving forward. So as he comes in here, one of the things he appreciates is the fact that so he's not just gonna see a list of all of the events, but it can actually allow him to be able to specify exactly what he's looking for. So in this case, he's looking for maybe virtual events, right? He's wanting to see if there's anything that's specific to art. He clearly loves to laugh and eat with food, just like Jess. So he can also come in here and again, specify exactly what he's looking for. So notice right away, it's letting him know, hey, there's actually a brunch that meets one of the criteria that he selected. So now he has the ability to see the who, the what, the when, the where, really all the decisions um, or all the criteria he needs to be able to make a decision on whether or not he wants to go. And he can even specify that right from here. Now, another area that's really important to Morris is actually this area called God. And the reason for that is because he likes to plan ahead and really be able to know what's going to be on a social calendar, let's say a week from now. And this does a beautiful job of categorizing different events 
in these major topics. So things like Black Lives Matter, brunch, food, nightlife, art, history, and culture. So it allows them to be able to easily go in and say, okay, I'm really interested in this particular category. And now he can see specific events in that. So in this case, let's just say he is really interested in this free film, The Hate You Give. Uh, and now again, just like he saw earlier, he has the ability to see all the details about this particular event. He can share it with his friends if he wanted to. Maybe he doesn't wanna go alone and wants to go with his family as well as the ability for him again to specify whether or not he's interested um, or that he's actually going to go. So it's gonna keep a list of all the different things that he's expressed and interested in, so he can easily go back and find them later. So if we summarize, again, we know that through our own lived experiences, it's extremely difficult for black people to find events that cater to them. And not because those events don't exist, it's because we don't have a platform or we haven't had a platform to be able to easily access those events before. Similarly, we know that we have a lot of great black owned businesses in Minnesota, but the ability to find and support them has always been a challenge. And we also love the fact that Minnesota attracts a lot of great black students and professionals, but retention again has always been an issue. So it's because of these challenges that again, we've created this app to be able to solve for those things, to create a powerful solution that will dramatically change how people discover attend and market events that celebrate Black in every way, and one that will offer a complete directory of Black-owned businesses, empowering Minnesotans to easily find, support, and connect with Black-owned businesses based on their interests. Now, over the past couple of months, we've been developing the iOS and Android mobile application using the Xamarin Forms cross-platform framework, and we're actually within a few weeks of launching the app. So as a result, we're really excited. We're looking forward to uh, some investments so that we can really see how this is going to not only impact Minnesota first and foremost, but how we can actually scale so that this is something that will be impactful throughout the United States.